Hello, this is Nurseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to do polygon modeling when an object has deformation already applied to it. That is what we call deformed editing. In this very simple scene, I have an object with a bend deformer and I can bend it. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to the object here and do some polygon modeling. So I want to select a polygon. Oops, what just happened? Well, by default, when you go to component mode, any of these modes, and you have a deformer applied, then you will see the object in its undeformed way. And for a lot of workflows, this is very convenient. But what if you want to model and view your model uh, in the deformed state? Well, it's very simple. You go to the view menu in your viewport and bring up the configure. And in the view tab, you just enable deformed editing and now this will work fine you can go and do all your modeling in the deformed state let me undo there is a catch though this only works with deformers that don't alter the topology of your object this means that the point count needs to be the same and if you add something like a bevel that adds geometry then this will not work you can see that the deformed editing setting is active but because we added a bevel deformer that adds that extra geometry, then it doesn't work. So I'm going to show you a method where you can work around that and still be able to work with uh, modifiers that apply topological changes while you're viewing the deformed object. All you have to do is select your object and go and create an instance of it. Now you can move the instance out of the way a bit, but now you have your model which is in the undeformed state and a version with the deformed state so you can go here and you can do your nice little modeling and you can see the result immediately now the axis here the reason why it's offset is because of the setting over here it tries to put the axes down here so make sure if you're using this method to deactivate the deformed editing because you get the benefit of the deformed editing without having to have this on and that won't move the axes and the axis is just placed there because it's been moved by the bend deformer so just make sure you turn it off and now your axes are nice and you can go here and you can do your modeling while looking at your deformed object if you enjoy our quick tips please like comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.